right, so today we're going to do a, just a quick video, show you how to switch your steel chainsaw over from summer mode to winter mode. And when you're cutting in the colder temperatures, you want to, there's a little window piece you need to swap out. Um, real quick and simple, and it'll help your saw run better in the conditions that you're cutting in. So, let's get started. So first things first, if you've got a chain guard, a scabbard, you're going to want that on there. I mean, yeah, you don't have to have it, but it's going to help protect you from accidentally getting cut or getting snagged on things. So we'll leave that on there. We've got also got the chain. Now we've got the chain locked so that it can't turn. Uh, and, okay, so this is a real, real simple process. So you've got three quarter turn locking, uh, I don't know, lock pieces. I'm not sure what you would call them. Quarter turn to unlock. Cover comes right off. And we're gonna look down in here. If you can see that, there's a little orange piece of plastic. Mine's actually already been switched over because it's cold out. You wanna switch it if you're cutting in temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there it is reach behind the handle push that out and you'll see it's got a window and a solid spot and if you can see the little decals on it it kind of tells you which way to go winter mode you want the hole facing in when you slide it in if it's above 50 degrees out you want that window facing that way so what it does is it'll either close off or open up the little hole down in here. If you've got it in winter mode, it opens that up and allows the airflow around the cylinder. So you're getting warm air drawn in to the carburetor in the winter time to help it warm up faster, keep it warm while it's running. Summertime, you don't want it. You want it to, it's hot outside. You want it to run a little cooler. Um, you don't need carburetor, engine, everything warming up quite the same as you do in the winter, which is why in the summertime you want it blocked off so that the air can't come through from around the engine. It can only come through you know, around the cover up inside here on the back side. This is also a good time to check your air filter. Make sure it doesn't need clean. These are washable. They're cheap to replace, but you can wash these elements, hot soapy water, rinse them down in it, um, rinse them out with clean water, let them sit to dry somewhere warm. And they're just a quarter turn lock as well. And when you're putting this back on, you gotta maneuver around your compression relief there. That's all there is to it. If you're cutting in temperatures, outdoor temperatures above 50 degrees, you want it in summer mode. If you're cutting below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you want it in winter mode. And that's, like I said, just to draw hot air off the engine or draw cooler air down by the handle. Uh, if you like the video, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like it, maybe some more tips, tips and tricks here and there, some wood cutting. And thanks for watching.